world of defense is a constant race. It's a race for being faster, stronger, and smarter. And nowhere is this truer than in the realm of anti-ship missiles. These missiles are the ultimate weapon in naval warfare, capable of crippling or even destroying the largest warships. For decades, speed has been the name of the game. Faster missiles are harder to stop and give the target less time to react. Early anti-ship missiles were subsonic, making them vulnerable to air defenses. Then came supersonic missiles, which could travel faster than the speed of sound, making them much more difficult to shoot down. Today, we are in the age of supersonic anti-ship missiles, the cutting edge of military technology. Two missiles stand out in this new era, the BrahMos and the YJ-12. These missiles are technological marvels, capable of incredible speed and devastating power. They are the products of cutting-edge engineering, locked in a deadly game of cat and mouse, where each seeks to outmaneuver and outgun the other. This is the story of their supersonic showdown. The BrahMos missile is a joint venture between India and Russia, a true testament to international cooperation. Named after two rivers, the Brahmaputra and the Moskva, it symbolizes the partnership between these two nations. The BrahMos is a ramjet-powered supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from ships, submarines, and aircraft. Known for its blistering speed, the BrahMos can reach speeds of up to Mach 3, making it one of the fastest cruise missiles in the world. It also boasts a range of up to 290 kilometers, giving it a significant reach. This missile can strike targets from a safe distance, making it a versatile weapon against ships, land-based targets, and even aircraft carriers. Its speed and power make the BrahMos a formidable threat. The YJ-12 is China's answer to the BrahMos, a supersonic anti-ship cruise missile shrouded in secrecy. A product of China's rapidly advancing military technology, the YJ-12 symbolizes their growing military might. Also a ramjet-powered missile, the YJ-12 is believed to be even faster than the BrahMos, with some reports suggesting it can reach speeds of up to Mach 4. This incredible speed could make it one of the fastest missiles in the world. The YJ-12 also has an impressive range, estimated to be between 400 and 500 kilometers, giving it a significant advantage over the BrahMos. Designed to be stealthy, with a low radar cross-section, the YJ-12 is difficult for enemy radar to detect, making it a silent and deadly threat. Head to head, a battle of supersonic titans. Both the BrahMos and the YJ-12 are incredibly powerful weapons, representing the pinnacle of supersonic missile development born from cutting-edge military technology. So, how do they stack up against each other? It's a tough question, really. Each missile has its own strengths and weaknesses. The BrahMos, for instance, has the advantage of being in service for longer. It's been battle-tested. Its reliability and effectiveness are well-documented. It's a proven performer. On the other hand, the YJ-12 is a newer missile, still shrouded in secrecy. We don't know as much about its capabilities. It is believed to be faster and have a longer range, which gives it a significant tactical advantage. However, the BrahMos is known for its versatility. It can be launched from a wider variety of platforms, making it more adaptable to different combat scenarios. It's indeed a flexible weapon. The development of the BrahMos and YJ-12 marks a new era, an era of supersonic warfare. These missiles are changing the face of naval combat, forcing nations to rethink their defenses and prompting a new arms race. The future of supersonic warfare is uncertain, but what is certain is that speed will continue to be a major factor. We can expect to see even faster and more sophisticated supersonic missiles, which will be harder to detect and intercept. The development of countermeasures will be crucial. Nations will need to develop new ways to defend against these threats, including advanced radar systems, electronic countermeasures, and new missile defense systems. The race for supremacy will continue. The BrahMos and YJ-12 are just the beginning. The future of supersonic warfare is here, and it's going to be a wild ride.